In this tutorial, let's solve a very interesting problem. First non-repeating character in a stream of characters. So first we will understand the problem statement. Then we will discuss how we can approach and solve the problem. So let's first understand the problem statement. So in this problem, we have given a string A denoting a stream of lowercase alphabets. So what does it mean by a stream of lower case alphabets so in this problem a string is not given in one go we have a continuous flow of character which is coming and we have to write a code to make a new string b and here is the rule to make a new string b so b is formed such that we have to find first non-repeating character each time a character is inserted to the stream and append it at the end to b if no non-repeating character is found, then append hash at the end of B. So let's take few examples to understand this problem statement. So the first example is, so in this example, we have given this input a string and this string is not given in one go. So basically a flow of character is coming. So let's say the first character which is coming from a stream is A. So till this point, the first non-repeating character is a now when next character b comes so till this point the first non-repeating character is a when a comes so now a is repeated twice so at this point the first non-repeating character is b then comes d and till this point so at this point the first non-repeating character is b and then comes b so a is already repeated now b is repeated at this point so we have the first non-repeating character at this point as d and when c is inserted when c is coming from a stream so we have to check which is the first non-repeating character at this point so it is d so this is the output string we get so this is the output and now let's take the second example so in second is example again the first character which is coming from the stream is a so at this point the first non-repeating character is a when b comes so again it is a it is the first non-repeating character when d comes again it is a and when a comes now the first non-repeating character at this point is b so let's put b here now when b comes so the first non-repeating character is d and when d comes so a is already repeated b is already repeated and now d is also repeated so here we don't so we don't have any non-repeating character so we simply append hash so this is the output we get here so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can approach and solve this problem we have understood the problem statement now the next question is how do we approach this problem how do we solve this problem so if we have to find the first non-repeating character in a string we can easily do it, do it using map but here the string is not given in one go so we have a continuous stream continuous flow of character which is coming and we have to find first non-repeating character at each instant when the character is inserted so by simply using map won't solve this problem we need additional data structure to maintain the order of character as well and for this we use queue data structure now let's visualize how we can solve this problem with the help of map and queue. So the idea here is whenever a character comes from a stream, so we keep its a character and its occurrence in a map and we put the character in a queue. So if and every time when we have to form a new string, we take the character which is present at the peak of a queue, we take its occurrence from a map and if it occur once we append we simply append them in a new string if it is not then we remove from the queue and we remove until we not found a character 
which is occurred once so let's visualize this approach so now let's take this uh, string so the character so this string represent a character which is coming from a stream so the first character which comes from a string is from a stream is a so what we do is so let's put them in a map so in map a is not present and map is simply a key value pair so in our case key is the character and value is its count and in hash map key is always unique so the first character is a so let's put a and its count which is one and also let's put a in a queue and we have to form a new string and we have already discussed the rules and now we take this uh, character so this character is present at the peak of the queue so we take this character and we check its occurrence in a map and its occurrence is one so at this in instant this is the at this instance this is the first non-repeating character so let's take a now the next character is b so we put b b and its count in a map and also we put them in a queue and again we take the character which is present at the peak of the queue which and it is a so we check its count in a map it is one so a is occurred once so till this point the first non-repeating character is a so then now the next character is a again so we check in a map a is already present in a hash map so we take its previous count and we add one to it so the new count is two and also we put them in a queue so we take this character and we check in a hash map now its count is two so we simply dequeue it from a queue and we pick next character so now the character which is present at the peak of the queue is b and we check its count in a hash map so its count is one so at this point the first non-repeating character is b now the next character which comes from uh which comes from a stream is d and we take this character and we put them in a hash map and we also put them in a queue so the character which is present at the peak of the queue is b and we take its uh, so we check its count in a hash map and its count is one so till this point till this point i mean at this point the first non-repeating character is b so now the next character is b so we take this character and this character is already present in a hash map so we take its previous count which is one we add one to it and we put them in a hash map now its count is two and also we put them in a queue so we take this character b so the character which is present at the peak of the queue is b so we check its count its count is two so we dequeued from a queue the next character is a so we check its count its count is also two so we dequeued from a queue we take next character which is d and we check its count in a queue so now uh, the character which is present at the peak of the queue is d we check its count in a hash map and its count is one so the the first non-repeating character at this point is d now the next character which is coming from the stream is c so we take this character and we put in a hash map and also we put them in a queue so the character which is present at the peak of the queue is d and we check its count and its count is one so the character the first non-repeating character at this at this point is d so this is the output we get and this is how we can solve this problem using queue and hash map now let's see its java code so let's see the java code so here i have declared a string builder a string builder to form a new string so in a string builder so whenever we found first non-repeating character at that instant we put we append them in a string builder and 
I have declared a queue and map. So queue which holds a value of character type and in map the character uh, the key is character and value is integer. And here I have run a loop uh, and uh, the loop will start from zero and it will run till the value of i is less than uh, the length of the string. And here we have to imagine this string in a form of I mean cont so in a string let's say we have 10 characters so we have we have to imagine that in a stream we have a flow of character is coming and in this flow we have the 10 elements so this is not given in one go so so whenever a new character comes we have to put them in a hash map so in hash map we uh, so character is the key so here is the key and in value so here is the method i have used get or default so if this character is present in a map give me its previous count else if it is not present take its default value which is zero and add one to it and in q i simply add the character and here is the condition which i have explained it to you already so if the queue is not empty and the character which is present at the peak of the queue and if its count is greater than one so for count we refer hash map so if that's the case simply dequeued a character from a queue and we have to repeat this process else if queue is empty simply uh, break from the loop and if q is empty append hash if it is not append the character uh, append the first non-repeating character at that instant so this is the java code and uh, i have already explained this uh, whole process uh, through the visualization and at the end we return this answer so at the end we return this uh, answer and uh, this is the uh, new string we get so this is how we can solve this problem so that's it for this video tutorial and for more such video tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash com, and please like and share this video and thanks for watching this video